All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 109 degrees right now in Arizona. And we're going to do some exploring on the DRZ here. How are we doing on gas? John's Motor Garage, welcome back to the channel. We got the DRZ today. Probably the least liked bike on my channel. My videos on the DRZ do not do well, but I have so much fun on it that I can't help but jump on and ride it. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, you guys, this, my friends, is what I absolutely love about the Suzuki DRZ. It's the versatility. I've talked about it once. I'll talk about it a hundred times. So we're doing some exploring today, seeing if we can find a new spot to ride. Hopefully not get ourselves into too much trouble. And this, my friends, is what I was looking for. Oh, dude. I'm not 100% certain, well, I'm fairly certain, this is basically an abandoned uh, airstrip, as you can see. Um, this is a wheelie practice paradise, stunt practice paradise. I mean, I don't know how long this strip is, it's got to be at least a mile long, straight. The surface is not the best, you know, you've got a lot of cracks, obviously it's not well maintained or, uh, or kept up because it's abandoned at this point, but beggars can't be choosers, you know what I mean? This is my first time ever out here though, and there's no telling whether or not it's a bust. That's the only thing I'm not aware of yet is if this place is a total bust or not. But the idea would be to load the Harley up in the truck and come out here with the Harley and get a session in. Because again, I mean, you can't ask for much better than this. Now I'm going to go explore a little bit more just to kind of see what's out there. Yeah, I'm such a fan of the DRZ. The DRZ is a, such a great bike for exploring. And I'll branch that out, not just the DRZ, but really dual sports in general. They're lightweight, they're versatile, you know, great for just about anybody, whether you're a brand new rider, or you've been riding for a really long time, and anything in between. This bike can do just about anything. It is a little bit on the tall side, so for newer riders, that can make it a slightly more intimidating. But it makes up for it just being super light and it's not over powerful, you know, over the top where it's going to really get you into too much trouble. That was not an intentional donut. So I looked down here and it looked like there was a possible security guard. Oh geez, even better dude. This is like even smoother. Looks like there's security out here. Dang it! I had a feeling I might have seen security. Hopefully that's not a cop. Do we talk to him or do we not talk to him? How's it going? Hey, is this all like private property area? So we can't mess around or ride out here? Dang it. All right, I'll get out of here. I'm new in the area, so I wasn't sure what was... Uh... Oh, this is reservation? Oh shoot, what's the quickest way out? That way? Uh, yeah, just back there. Okay, I'll go back that way then. <laughs> yeah, dude, just let you know that if, if you go to Ketko, you can take your stuff. So. Yeah, I didn't know this was a reservation. Okay, sounds good, thank you. Okay. I'll take off. Well, that makes sense. Apparently this is all reservation, so this is an absolute no-go. You don't want to be caught busted out here. Pretty cool spot though. And I guess a ranger just came through here, so I will get lost like yesterday's business, bro. What a drag, dude. This would be like the perfect, perfect spot 
uh, but obviously it's a bust given that it's in the reser on the reservation. I don't want to lose my motorcycle and my truck and my Harley if I'm out here messing around. So, shoot, that's a bummer. I mean, like this is all this is all like anybody who's getting into wheelies and doing Harleys. This is all you're looking for, man. Just an open lot, no traffic. You're not gonna put anybody else at risk. Um, yeah, it's perfect, man. Perfect. But, uh, but yeah. Reservation, so we, like I said, we won't risk it. We won't risk it. Flying free like the birds. Hey. We'll at least get, like, at least get one last one last good wheelie on our way out of here, right? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I mean, look at this place. What a bummer, dude. I wonder if you can go about, like, I don't know, renting it off the reservation or something. That would be awesome. Because this really would be perfect. Woo! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah! I knew it was good, too good to be true. I just knew it. I'm surprised though, because there weren't like any warning signs um, turning onto this onto this road here. So, I really need to get myself a dirt bike. A big shout out to my mom. She ordered me a Camelback, a real nice kind of compact, lightweight Camelback, and it's perfect for these kind of desert summer rides when it's all hot outside. DRZ Adventures, there you have it. Found a cool spot and it was shut down before it even got started. Still fun, fun to explore nonetheless. John's Moto Garage, uh, as always, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you dig the content. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Nos vemos.